Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the 10th and last chapter of Stone Fox. This chapter is called The Finish Line. The crowd cheered madly when they saw Little Willie come into view at the far end of Main Street, and even more madly when they saw that Stone Fox was right on his tail. Go, Searchlight, go! Searchlight forged ahead, but Stone Fox was gaining. Go, Searchlight, go! Little Willie cried out. Searchlight gave it everything she had. She was a hundred feet from the finish line when her heart burst. She died instantly. There was no suffering. The sled and little Willie tumbled over her, slid along the snow for a while, and then came to a stop about ten feet from the finish line. It had started to snow. White snowflakes landed on Searchlight's dark fur as she lay motionless on the ground. The crowd became deathly silent. Lester's eyes looked to the ground. Miss Williams had her hands over her mouth. Mr. Foster's cigar lay in the snow. Doc Smith started to run out to Little Willie, but stopped. Mayor Smiley looked shocked and helpless, and so did Hank and Dusty, and so did the city slickers, and so did Clifford Snyder, the tax man. Stone Fox brought his sled to a stop alongside Willie. He stood tall in the icy wind and looked down at the young challenger, and at the dog that lay limp in his arms. Is she dead, Mr. Stone Fox? Is she dead? Little Willie asked, looking up at Stone Fox with his one good eye. Stone Fox knelt down and put one massive hand on Searchlight's chest. He felt no heartbeat. He looked at Little Willie, and the boy understood. Little Willie squeezed Searchlight with all his might. You did real good, girl, real good. I'm real proud of you. You rest now. Just rest. Little Willie began to brush the snow off Searchlight's back. Stone Fox stood up slowly. No one spoke. No one moved. All eyes were on the Indian, the one called Stone Fox, the one who had never lost a race and who now had another victory within his grasp. But Stone Fox did nothing. He just stood there like a mountain. He shifted his eyes to his own dogs, then to the finish line, and then back to Little Willie, holding Searchlight. With the heel of his moccasin, Stone Fox drew a line in the snow, and then he walked back over to his sled and pulled out his rifle. Down at the end of Main Street, the other racers began to appear. As they approached, Stone Fox fired his rifle into the air. They came to a stop. Stone Fox spoke. Anyone crosses this line, I shoot. And there was nobody who didn't believe him. Stone Fox nodded to the boy. The town looked on in silence as Little Willie, carrying searchlight, walked the last 10 feet and crossed the finish line. And that's the very sad end to our story. Thank you so much for listening and stay tuned for another read aloud that we will start next week.